Well, hey, hey, everybody. Ron Tierina here, how y'all doing? Let me back up a little bit just so you can see me. The light ain't that good, I can see, but if I zoom in, whoo -hoo, you can see me, right? <laughs> hey, man, I just thank you for joining my show today. I want to talk a little bit about something that I think will motivate you for the start of your week, for the middle of the day, for the weekend, whatever it is you're at when you're watching this video. I know what I'm about to share with you will pump you up, will motivate you to go that extra mile. Woo! Listen, my name is Ron T. and I want to welcome you to my show. You know, I want to talk about things that have helped me become better, greater than ever before in my life. I believe, first of all, I wanted to give you this. I believe that we are on the continuous improvement plan. You know what that means? That means that we're always forever learning. And if you're in a position in your life, man, where you want to embrace knowledge, when you want to embrace insight, when you want to listen to others, how did you get where you're at, man? Where did you go? Where, where did you go to get this? You know, that was me. When I was 25 years old, I found myself in a place filled with, with so much knowledge that, that I, I had to become a sponge. I had no choice but to learn and to listen from other individuals who were becoming successful despite their circumstances, despite where they were in. Man, let me tell you, man, I had some of those greatest teachers, but, but I want to introduce you to two, two guys today, man. Mm. Two guys that were my greatest teachers, man. I'm excited. You know, usually when I come and do this, I come out of the weight room. Woo! Did a little pectoral action today. Pumped it up. Because I believe in order to be successful, you got to work the mental, the physical, the spiritual, and the emotional. And you know, this is this is a whole different type of world, man. You know, we're talking about four elements. You know, for those of you who have ears to hear, let me tell you what I'm saying. We're talking about four elements, the physical part, the earth. Ooh-wee. You gotta be able to tame it. You gotta motivate it. You gotta, you gotta be able to manipulate the earth because all by itself, it will run havoc. Ooh, if you don't take care of it, right? You know, when we talk about emotions, we're talking about like water, man. We're talking about how it goes to and fro. You know, you got to be able to bring the peace, the calm, the storm down, right? That's tough. It's tough in today's world, man, to always be at a state of peace and serenity, man. It takes what it takes. And, you know, I talked a little bit on my last video about this dude named Discipline, man. It takes a great deal of discipline to make it in this world today, man. I'm telling you right now, you just can't walk into something and think you're going to make it. And you, and you might fake it to think you're going to make it. And you might be able to snow a couple people. But let me tell you this. You can't snow the snowman. Mm -mm -mm. You cannot snow the snowman, right? That was physical and emotional. You know, we're talking a little bit about, the, you know, intellectual here now. You know, where, where, where do you think? We're talking about the air, right? We're talking about what's happening in your heavens. What, how are you seeing? What, what are you thinking about, man? Come on, man. There's storms and mind battles take place every day, right? Woo-wee. So we talked about the physical. We talked about the emotional. We talked about the in intellect, right? Ooh, what about the spiritual, man? What about the spiritual? What are you talking about there? Well, how are you doing this? How are you working this out? How are you getting it all together? Man, there's a lot of things we could talk about, and we will. You stay tuned. You plug into my channel, man, and we're going to bust some things down for you. We're going to bust a couple seals. We're going to open them up, and we're going to get some revelation. We're going to get some understanding what it takes to not only become a man of honor, but a woman of virtue. What it takes to hold a family together. What it takes to maintain a relationship, man. I'm telling you, hard work equals profit. Woo, I'm pumped today. I'm excited, man. You know, I've been doing this a little bit now, and I tell you what, man, every time I get to do it, I just sit back and I say, wow. Man, the, the things that I've been through, the insights, the people that I've listened to, the schools that I've gone to, the school of hard knocks, huh? Uh, uh, uh. School of hard knocks. Not a little stuff like that, uh-uh. Where the door's slamming, <laughs> where it's hitting. You know, I, I remember one time I was in this setting, right? And I'm going to tell you, man, look, man, you know, where I got all this stuff at, I, I surrounded myself with people who were making it big, people who were really doing something, people who were succeeding, people who were living to tell about it, people who were living to see tomorrow, man, people who were understanding, though they were in the circumstances they were in, right, because I found myself in that same place. Listen, I'm talking about people who are incarcerated, man. I'm talking about people who are incarcerated not only physically, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially. Are you broke? Oh, are you living check by check? Oh, are you asking mom for some money? Oh, you know, I work with some people, man. They love to smoke cigarettes, and that's okay. Ain't nothing, that's what you want to do, smoke your cigarettes. But if you are having to borrow somebody's car, if you got to borrow somebody's lunch money, ooh, 
so you can go back and buy a pack of cigarettes. There's an issue, there's a problem. If you don't even have a driver's license, uh, but you got a pack of cigarettes, come on, mister. There's something wrong with that type of thinking. But I want to introduce you today to two of my dudes, man. Two good friends of mine. And they have been my greatest teachers. Man, have they been my greatest teachers. You know, and they don't have no respect to persons. And what that means is they don't care what, what skin color you are. They don't care what side of the tracks you're born on. They don't care nothing about you. All they care about is teaching you something that you can learn and you can embrace. Because if you can't learn the lesson that these two individuals will bring to you, uh. It's a hard place to stay stuck in this realm when they bring you the lessons you're supposed to learn because these lessons come to everybody. I don't care where you at in the world. Ooh, look behind me. You got the world map here, baby. Ooh. You know why I got this message? To symbolize that the message that I got, mm, the message that's in here for you, it's not only for you, it's not only for me, but it's for everybody across the world, baby. I'm telling you right now, this is real, this is powerful. I, yeah, I can be silly, this is my video, I can be silly. It doesn't matter, man. I've been through the mill, I've been through hard rocks. I know what it's like to be down and out. I know what it's like to be kicked when you're down. I know what it's like to be spit on. I know all that stuff, be called out your name and all that. Yeah, do you? Because if you have a platform, I wanna encourage you, tell your story. Tell your story. Don't wait on somebody else to tell your story. The pen is in your hand, write it. Man, listen, man. The two dudes I want to introduce you to. The first one, his name is Pain. <laughs> Pain. But Pain's got a brother, man, called Suffering. <clears throat> Pain and Suffering have been my greatest teachers, man. Pain and Suffering. Say that with me. Pain and Suffering have been my greatest teachers. Man, I'm going to tell you what they empowered me. They empowered me to never use them as an excuse. Say this, pain and suffering, I will never use them as an excuse to fail. Uh, I will never use pain and suffering as an excuse to fail. Some of you out there right now, man, are, are just tripping. You're like, you, I can't figure this out. I can't get it. I can't get a break. I just, everything I do, everything I say to her, it ain't right. Everything I say to him, it ain't right. I, you know, I go to work on time, but I can't get a break. The boss won't cut me in some slack. You know, I, I, I know I owe some this guy. Uh, I know I owe the bank some money. I know I owe a car note. I know I own a mortgage. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Come on, man. That's life. And we got to embrace it. You know, each and every one of us has to do one thing every morning, man. We got to tie our boots. We got, how's that go? Tie your bootstraps, baby. Tie them up. Boom. Put on one leg, you know, one, one, one leg going in the pants. Everybody puts on the pants the same way. Man, listen. Pain and suffering have been my greatest teachers, man. I know what it's like to be, be taken from your family, to be put in an environment that is so unreal, so scary. Have you ever been so scared for your life? You know, you know, we got some people out there that, that have experienced that in a different area, man. You know, these military people, man, I, I honor them. I salute them, man. I ain't never served, but I'm telling you, man, these are some deep dudes. These are some deep people. I thank them every day, every chance I get to see them. Let me do a plug-in right now. Next time you see a serviceman on the street, a guy wearing a veteran hat, you know, maybe he's doing a military jacket or something, salute them. Thank them for serving because I'm telling you, I get to reap what they do. I get to reap the blessings, and so do you. So thank them for that. But listen, I want to go back to pain and suffering. This is America, man. This is the greatest country in the world we live in. There ain't no excuses. There ain't no excuses why you be five, six generations deep in the food stamps. None. Now, in the beginning, you know what? I'm not knocking food stamps down. Don't misunderstand me, man. That's a good thing. And there's some pain and suffering going on in that family's life right there. And maybe they're out of a job. Maybe something happened. I don't know. But okay, so it's a season. It's an event. But how did that event in that life, in that people's life, become a lifestyle? Three, four generations later, they still stuck. Come on. Pain and suffering. Let them have their perfect work in you. But if you don't embrace it and come to understand it, they will, they will, they will set up camp, man. And you'll be, before you know it, you're asleep, you're unconscious, and you're living a dream. You're living a, a nightmare, not a dream. You're living a nightmare, and you can't get out because you can't wake up. Because you allow pain and suffering to become dominion, to take over you, man. You allow pain and suffering to not only hang out with you all day and every day. They bring their buddies too, man. You let them hang, guess who's going to show up? Misery. <laughs> Misery loves what? Yeah, that's right. Company. Misery don't walk alone. If pain and suffering, if they don't get to do what they get to do and you finally evolve and you graduate from that, me that, that, that moment in your life, they'll stay, they'll set up camp, and then you become stuck in a rut. Come on now. 
Because pain and suffering. I know a lot of guys who, who can't hold a job down. I know a lot of guys who just can't seem to get their life together, get their act together. I know guys keep going in and out of county jail. I know a lot of guys keep going in and out of prison. Come on, man. It's up in here. It's up in here. This is real, man. Look, look this, you see my T-shirt? It says Tyro. Let me give you something, man. This is a, this is a curriculum that, that, that we've been able to develop here. It's powerful, man. It will change your life. If you're interested, subscribe to my channel. Shoot me an email. Shoot me something. All right, and we'll tell you all about it. See, Tyro is a Latin word, which means apprentice, novice, someone learning something new, a warrior. But you can't claim to be a warrior if you don't know what you're fighting for. Come on now. I'm a father, man. This says Tyro dad, man. Look, I'm a Tyro dad, man. I'm a dad and what? And then some. I'm a husband and what? And then some. I'm an American and then some. I'm a son and then some. See, when you start talking like that, man, pain and suffering do I have its perfect work in you? And eventually, you'll come out of that. Whatever it is that you're going through. People struggle. People are hurt. I hurt. We all hurt. But we can't let pain and suffering rule us. Because wounded people do what? Wound others. Say that with me. Wounded people wound others. Man, I'm going to give you some more stuff. You want something new in your life, you got to do something new in your life. You hear what I said? If you want to change in your life, you know what? I want to give you one more thing tonight before I close out, man. I'm going to challenge you to celebrate your haters, man. Celebrate your haters. Pain and suffering have been your greatest teachers. Man, they made you for what you are today. They made you strong. They made you tall. They made you hold your head up because you lived to tell about it, man. Pain and sufferings have been great in your life, but you didn't know it. You didn't know pain and suffering were your friends. <clears throat> Come on now. But I want to challenge you on something. Celebrate your haters. You know, man, if it weren't for your haters, you wouldn't be motivated to try to outdo them, outdo somebody. Your haters are really your cheerleaders, and they don't even know it. They think they're trying to keep you down. <clears throat> but I'm telling you, they ain't keeping you down. They're pushing you up. They're excelling you. They're, they're, they're honoring you in a way that they don't even know. Celebrate your haters, and they will, they will be astonished at what you accomplish. How can he do that? Who does she think she is? Who does he think he is? Right? You got to celebrate your haters. Listen. So today we talked about pain and suffering, man. They've been my greatest teachers, man. Listen, I did 15 years in the penitentiary for a crime I didn't commit. Yeah, that's right, for a crime I didn't commit, but that doesn't mean I should have been there. Listen, man, I, that doesn't mean I should have been there because I was a lame. I told you that, man. I told you I was a lame. Could be taken at my word. Was experiencing something so horrific, man. My family was taken from me. I'm taken from my family. I'm losing everything. Don't have nothing. Don't have a shred of anything. Don't even have the crucial, the most important thing in my life, man. That's my word, man. Look, if you're staying this long and you got to hear this part, I'm going to tell you something, man. The only thing you need right now to hold on to is your word. See, pain and suffering will cause you to, to either they're going to break you or they're going to make you stronger. What doesn't break you, what? Will make you stronger. Ain't that what it says? Ain't that the same? Right? Well, don't kill you. Will what? Make you stronger? Come on. I went, to, I went through a place where, I, man, it was my schooling ground. I lived to tell about it. What's your schooling ground? Where are you going to learn these hard lessons? Where are you, what are you doing with your hard lessons? Are you embracing them? Are you writing them down? Are you taking the lessons of life and are you growing from them? Or are you continually to make the same mistakes over and over again? You know, I'm, I'm telling you, man, don't let pain and suffering not have its paper work, perfect work in you. Embrace it. The quicker you can embrace pain and suffering, the quicker you can graduate from that level of understanding, go on to a new level, get a new degree of knowledge, right? First degree, second degree, third degree, come on now. This is how it works, but you got to embrace it. Remember, wounded people wound others. Look, my name is Ron Tiarina, man. I'm, I'm rooting for you. I am rooting for you to make it. This is some serious stuff. There's some, there's some, there's some situations out there that are just crazy right now, but look, let pain and suffering have its perfect work in you, and watch what happens to you. You want to become successful. You want to become that business leader. You want to become that great dad, that great husband, the great employer, the great employee, whatever it is that you're doing in your life right now, and you're experiencing something, and you don't know what it is. You're not getting a break or anything. Listen, stop, see it for what it is, and then grow. Stop, see it for what it is, and then grow. That's the recipe of success. Stop, see it for what it is, and then grow. Don't take it personal. Again, I'm Ron Thierry, and I hope you enjoyed my show today. Listen, if you liked it, subscribe. If you really liked it, share it with somebody. All right? I want to hear. If you think I'm full of it, let me know. <laughs> and if, if I'm giving you something really good, let me know also. All right? I am rooting for you.